comes under the Holy Spirit, then you will want to look at the people, what is going on. But I want to encourage you this morning, just focus on Jesus. When the Holy Spirit is busy working, just focus on Jesus. I'm going to read the scripture, Acts 2. Can you stand with the Lord? Are you going to call to your face? Amen. Beloved, just be here with me. Amen. 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 <laughs> yes. Lord. Amen. Now Acts 2 said, When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came a, from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting and divided tongues as a fire appeared on them and rest on each of them. And they were all full with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance to do so. Amen. Amen. Now, beloved, um, I see in the Word of God that while the disciples were in in that place, in a place. Amen. Jesus. They were all together in one accord. Amen. Now one accord means um, they were all together like, I, like the, the words in Afrikaans. And there was a in the And when the Holy Spirit came down yes, and filled every heart. Yes. Amen. Jesus. And they were speaking in other tongues. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And as we see today, in our lives also, when the Holy Spirit has come on us. Yes. Amen. Some of us speaking in other languages. Some of us is jumping up and down. Yes. Some of us is rolling around. Yes. Some of us, the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit come and, come and sit on your lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. It doesn't mean you are now in that place. Amen. Yes. But I, I, I learned from the word of God Amen. that your heart must yes. be Pure and clean. Amen. So, um, while I was studying the Word of God, Amen, and the Holy Spirit said to me that Sunday for Sunday is in our midst. Amen. And Sunday for Sunday is looking for somebody just to renew your life. And sometimes we sit and we don't want to open our hearts for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Holy Spirit can't just come and sit on Brother uh, Liam and he's, he's not doing something. Amen. To invite the Holy Spirit Jesus. in his life. Amen. And, 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 and so the Bible says, when the Holy Spirit fall your life, you, be, you begin to speak in other language. The language is you. And God knows. Amen. Amen. So this morning, Amen. I want to bless you. Also with Job 2. Amen. Verse 28. Amen. The Bible said that in the last days, Job says, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit on every face. He will pour out the Holy Spirit on each and every one. But my question today is, is your heart clean enough for the Holy Spirit? Is your life clean enough for the Holy Spirit? Amen. Because um, I can't, if the Holy Spirit come on me Sunday for Sunday, I mean, there must be a difference in my life. Amen. 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 And sometimes, praise the Lord, that um, if somebody, I don't want to point finger today, but someday someone comes under the Holy Spirit and they can't control the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sometimes people say, but I can't help if the Holy Spirit fear on me. 
So uh, some, sometimes Jesus. I've got experience yes. when the Holy Spirit has come on my life. Jesus. And sometimes I go in sobering. Sometimes I jump. Sometimes I cry. Yeah. But then I control myself. Jesus. Because sometimes you disturb yeah. other people yeah. in the house of God. So we love us today. I want to encourage you today. Amen. Let us get our minds, our hearts, in our lives clean. And let us come, let us invite the Holy Spirit in our lives. You know, what I, I was learning this morning it was like past seven. And uh, I think to myself that. Yo, God is really good. The love us one hour was laying. It's like three minutes. The first word the Spirit told me my that the Holy Spirit is hoping me is one accord. And I tell myself, yo. So today there must be unity amongst us. Amen. If there's no unity, yes. you can forget. Yes. You can forget that the Holy Spirit is not going to work on you. Jesus. Second word was delight. Come on. Jesus. And what I, I go to, to, to see what the word means, it means it's an, it's an experience guaranteed to delight both on young and old. And the third word was discern sister Nita. Amen. You must discern. Praise the God. You must discern. You can't just sit in the house of God and you go on like that, like nothing happened. I every time or most of the time I tell people that if somebody probably give you a word, go and look, discern that word, man. Discern what? What is the meaning? Yes, or if someone gives you a word of God, go and look what will God want to tell you. Jesus. And this morning, I want to guys, the church, Jesus. come, let us allow the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. to take part of our life, to, 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 to restore our life this morning. Mm. Amen. And I thank you. Amen. Yeah. and stop that on ourselves. It is critically imperative for us to understand that what Acts chapter 2 is trying to express to us that even though there was a prophetic promise that the, the apostles will receive our spirit, that the apostles would not receive our spirit unless they become one. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 14, it said the Afrikaans, sorry my sister, but the Afrikaans would say, uh, or the English translation says, let not your heart be troubled. So he's speaking to a corporate church, multiple people, but he's speaking to one heart. He says, not, let not your heart be troubled. He could say, again, that what some means about some people praise, they say, the Bible says, let not your hearts be troubled. It's not hearts, it's not plural. It is singular form. Because God is calling his corporate Christ to a place of unity. Because he cannot pour upon us what heaven has promised us, the promise of the Father, except we become one. Yes. When we become one in heart, we become one in vision. When we become one in vision, we become one in mission. We then realize that we are not better than one than the other. The Bible says the book from Acts chapter 14, let's get left, become a kid, but now, yeah, Acts chapter 14, he says that we are one body. I said, I see, here, lady, lady, 
Yelecha. He said, when you cut yourself out of the body, you are not saying that the body is wrong. You are disqualifying yourself. We should be one. In order for us to see prophetic fulfillment, we should be one. In order for us to experience the Holy Spirit, we should be one. Because though there are three, in you know, they are still one. As you sound like they are still one. And so today the challenge is it seems like God is echoing the same thing from the beginning of the service, asking us to check our own lives. Only from the device that even I said, don't point finger to someone else. This 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 I think but things matter to us for your only resistance. As it is on my name. And God speaking to me. And I'm the one that is maybe disconnected to the purpose of God. Can it be that I'm the one that is the stumbling block? Can it be that I'm the one that's not controlling my own spirit? And that I'm the one causing division? So the word of the Lord is taking us today. And the words of Yerah say, like God said to King Nebuchadnezzar, He said to them that you are being weighed. There's only fears of the blocks. It is the light of the Bij ons zegt God dat hij een behaar en een valse vierskap. So where are you today as it relates to your heart? I'm going to ask every eye to be closed in this place. As every person stand in this house. Heaven is open. Heaven is retaining nothing from us. The promise is there. The promise is available. The promise is available. God is niet van maken dat the Bible says his gift is without repentance. In other words, if he promised you something, then surely he will give it to you. The challenge obviously is even now, if you look behind you, next to you, you see there was a request for everybody to stand, and there are some people that are playing and some of just deciding that they will sit. Why? Because they are not one in their heart. Hulle kan staan, hulle besluit in hulle hart, hulle wil nie staan nie, because they are not joined to this word. We, we, we got to be honest about these things, because the eyes van die heren is hier klap was, ander wil entertain nie. Die eyes van die heren is, as die ene in ons is, hey! Surely God doesn't want us to be in between. You can rather be hot, off the side of coat of his, maar as die lowest in revelation, and I do understand there are some people that cannot stand, but there are some people that have decided in their hearts that they do not want to become one. So I ask you today, my beloved brother and sister, that as you stand today, that you evaluate your own heart, that you evaluate your own life. That you evaluate your own stand with God today. Where are you as it relates to what Yahweh wants to do in your life? Where are you as it relates to what Yahweh wants to pour out upon you? You know the promise of the Father to your house. You know the promise of the Father to your life. The question is today, where are you as it relates to the call of your life? Evaluate your own heart. <laughs> I say it once again, we are not here to touch anybody. We are not pointing fingers. I'm looking at myself today. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? And if you find that this word has spoken to you today, and you believe that God wants to pour his promise out on you, I want to call you to this altar. I want to call you to this altar. I'm not going to even pray for you when you come to this altar. You need to speak to your father yourself. This I keep a word that you're an echo. Ete kom jyre. Ai kan, ai kan. Jyre sak en nebrek aan arm en blik. Ete kom jyre, ete kom jyre. Net soos wat ek is. Just like I am, Father. With all my faults and my frailties. With everything that is wrong within me. I come to your altar. Evaluating my own heart. Evaluating my own stance. Evaluating my own relationship. Evaluating where am I with you. Where am I with you? Where am I with you, Father? Where am I with you, Father? Where am I with you, Father? Pass my leave. 
Pass by your grace, my life. Father, there are certain things that you ought to cut out of my life, cut it out today. If there are certain things that you need to cut out of me, cut it out today. The altar is open. 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 Where am I today? Where am I today? Where am I today? Spirit of the living God, if you're going to pour it out, I want to be a clean vessel. I want to be a pure vessel. I do not want to live a life full of compromise. I don't want to live a life pleasing people. I want to live a life where God is satisfied with my sons in the Lord. Where am I today? Where am I today? Check my heart. Check my heart, Father. Check me. Gallant X stands for it. Check me today, Father. You're going to ask us to look the front this year. I want you to increase me. Where I failed you, Father, now forgive me. Where I've neglected my relationship with you, forgive me. Help me, Father God. And if you're going to pour out anything today, I want to be receiving. I want to be on the receiving end. I want to be receptive, Father. I want to be pure and holy. I want to be righteous in us. I want to be a sacrifice that's holy and acceptable unto the Father. I want to be pure and holy. I want to be righteous and just. Bring me to a place of unity. Bring me to a place of unity. Unify me with the Father. So that the Father of light can shine his light upon me. Unify me with the Son. Unify me with the Holy Spirit. For as we, have, if we as a people become one, you would release the promise of the Father upon us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Cover the lust of my eyes, the lust of my face, and the pride of life. Cut it out out of me. Selfishness, self-centeredness, self-righteousness, cut it out of me. Forgive me where I have failed, where I failed you, and make me one today with the Spirit. One with your purpose, one with your will. One with your desire. One with you. Connect me to you today. Connect me to you today. Connect me to you today. I want to be part of your outpouring. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your instruction. Thank you for your spirit. Clean my heart, clean my hands, clean my mind, clean my toes. Make me one with you today. Connect us in one accord. Join us in oneness. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Wash my hands, wash my mind, wash my heart, and make me one with you today. Forgive me where I've sinned.
are able to come before the throne of grace. We thank God that you forgive us. Thank you that we will obtain mercies to be out of the night. Make us one. 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 Bring us to a place of unity. Bring us to a place of unity, sir. Until we release one sound. Until we release one sound. Until we get to that place when we open our mouth, we release one sound. Until we get to that place that when we release a praise, it is one sound. Until we sound like one army. Make us one. Make us one. Make us one, Lord. Make us one. So in our hearts and minds. Make us one. Make us one. Make us one. Because where there's unity, God commands a blessing. 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 The heaven is open.
want to call your praise to us. Is there anybody who wants to give their life to Jesus today? As the sound continues to resonate in the realm of the spirit. As I even want to go back to the earth, he made our life sound and he had to see. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to connect to this family and to this kingdom. I want to connect to Christ today. As I hand dance was our tweet down. As I tweet down. As I tweet down. Come on, somebody, let it flow. And you want to give your life to Jesus, you can come with me. Don't let me stop. Don't let me stop. Don't let me stop. Don't let me stop. 